Nunn's equation factors affect cell potential and spontaneity of cell reaction. The Nunn's equation actually enables us to determine the cell potential under non-standard conditions. So this formula actually relates the numerical values of concentration gradient to the electrical gradient that balance it. So this is the Nernst equation, where R is the constant, T is the temperature in Kelvin, F is the Faraday constant, N is the number of electrons transferred, and Q is the reaction portion. Most of the time, actually, we often deal the reaction at the temperature of 298 Kelvin. So the following shows the modification of the Nernst equation. So as you can see, in this equation, we will not be using the natural log long anymore. And as you can see, the constant RT and also F cannot be seen in this equation. So actually, if we were not given any information about temperature, we can simply assume that temperature is equal to 298 Kelvin. And for your matriculation syllabus, we will be using this equation almost all the time. Next, let's take a look how can we predict the spontaneity of reaction. So when the E cell is negative, okay, the reaction will not proceed in the forward direction. So the reaction will be spontaneous only in the reverse direction. And this is the non-spontaneous redox reaction and cannot, cannot be used to produce electricity. Okay. When E cell is equal to zero, the reaction is at equilibrium, but when E cell is positive, the reaction will be proceed in the forward direction, and spontaneous redox reaction can be used to produce electricity. Lastly, let's take a look at the factors affecting the cell potential E cell. So, bila kita mau bincang ni, kita akan tengok daripada segi persamaan itulah. So, the first factor is the concentration of a reactant and product. Okay, so, ini factor dia ditentukan oleh Q. Q adalah reaction quotient. So, dalam chemical equilibrium yang kita belajar last year, okay, untuk menulis Q, dia sama dengan concentration of product divided by concentration of reactant. So, biasa dia concentration ataupun pressure. Dalam erti kata lain, solid dan liquid tidak terlibat dalam pengiraan reaction quotient. So, mari kita tengok yang pertama, sekiranya kita increase the concentration of the product. Okay, bila kita increase the concentration of product, the value of Q also will be increasing. So, bila value of Q increasing, lone Q sana pun akan increase. Then, semua, okay, semua RT per NF ln Q itu pun juga akan increase. So, bila inert cell telah suatu nombor di situ yang increase, what happen to the value of E cell? E cell akan decrease. Okay, next, let's take a look pula. Kalau kita increase the concentration of the reactant, so, bila kita increase the concentration of the reactant, the value of Q will be decreasing. Therefore, the ln Q also decreasing. So, RT per NF darab ln Q pun akan decreasing. So, bila E0 cell tolak dengan suatu uh, nombor yang decrease, what happened to the value of E cell? E cell will be increasing. Next, let's take a look pula at the second factor which is temperature. So, it will affect the value of T. So, bila T kita increase, itu semua akan increase. E not, e not cell tolak suatu nombor yang increase menyebabkan E cell decrease. And the last one is the type of half cell. It will affect the value of E not cell and also 